everyone and welcome to week four of Math 130. For the last few weeks, we have been discussing data. We have talked about how to gather data, organize data, and describe data. Most of the work we have done so far focused on just one set of data, but sometimes we will have two sets of data and we would like to understand how those two data sets are related. Our focus this week is on paired data. Sometimes when we have two data sets, the values are paired. That means that each value in the first set of data is connected to or paired with a specific data value in the second set of data. For example, maybe we collected data where every day we recorded what the outside temperature was and we also recorded how much we spent on air conditioning that day. These two data sets, the temperature and the air conditioning bill, are paired because each temperature is paired with exactly one air conditioning bill that occurred on the same day. We would expect that there is a relationship between these two variables, namely that as the outside temperature gets higher or hotter, we would need to use the air conditioning more, so the air conditioning bill would also get higher. When two variables are related in such a way that the increase or decrease of one variable suggests that there will be an increase or decrease in the other variable, we call these variables correlated. In this case, the outside temperature is called the explanatory variable, and the air conditioning bill is called the response variable. That is because we expect that the air conditioning bill is responding to the increase or decrease in outside temperature, and the outside temperature is explaining the increase in the air conditioning bill. So what can we do with this kind of data? Well, first, we can determine if the correlation is strong or weak, or if there actually is no correlation at all. Not all paired data sets are correlated. For example, the number of freckles a person has is not correlated to their air conditioning bill. We can tell if two sets are correlated by calculating the correlation coefficient. If there is a correlation, then we can use what is called the regression line to let us make predictions. Suppose that you are the electric company, and you know that a heat wave is coming. If you have data from the past, you can use that data to make a prediction about what the power needs are going to be during the upcoming heat wave, as more and more people are running their air conditioning. This is important and used commonly in business, science, and many other real-world areas. Like last week, the work needed to compute our values of interest this week don't require any advanced math. It's a lot of add, subtract, multiply, and divide. However, the formulas require a very large number of steps, which makes computing these numbers by hand a real chore. Do you really want to use these formulas to find these values by hand? Do you? Yeah, I don't either. StatCrunch is a cinch to use this week and it will eliminate virtually all of these tedious calculations. With just a few clicks, you can calculate everything you need in a matter of seconds. Please use this program in week four and on exam two. In week four, you have your My Math Lab homework assignment, 4-2, due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Please make sure you are using all the resources available to you this week. This includes your textbook reading, the resources in the Module 4 folder, the videos and other resources posted in the announcements and in the discussion boards, and please use the free tutoring found through the Academic Support tab. And please let me know if there is anything I can do to help you in Week 4. Good luck!